In this video, we're going to learn about the different exponent rules. So you should be able to simplify the following expressions by the end of this video. There will be a solution video posted within 24 hours, so stay tuned for that. Anyhow, let's get into this. What is an exponent? Well, an exponent is anything that is raised to a power. So we have a base here, which would be, say, our number a, variable a, and then we have a power which in this case we call m. And this is how many times a is multiplied by itself. So if we have a to the m, what this means is we have a times a times a times a times a times a and so on, and we do this m times. So for example, if we have six to the two, then this is six times itself two, well, sorry, six times itself, so six times six, and we do this two times. So that gives us a total of 36. So some examples here. Let's say we have 3 to the 2. Well, this is saying I want 3 times itself 2 times. So this is 3 times 3. And that gives us a total of 9. What about 4 to the power of 3, or 4 cubed? Well, this will be 4 times 4 times 4, which gives us 16 times 4, which is 64. So as you can see here, this is a total of 3 times and to refresh, in the previous example, 3 times 3, here we have this 2 times, and this corresponds to the power. Okay, now here's another little rule. If we have any number to the power of 0, that equals 1, as long as that a value is not 0 itself. So if we have something like 3 to the 0, that equals 1. If we have something like 69 to the 0, that equals 1. The only thing that does not equal 1 is 0 to the 0, and that is indeterminate. So it's just basic definition of exponents. You probably already understand this a little bit. What's more interesting, though, are the rules. So imagine we have x to the m times x to the n. OK, well, x to the m just means we're doing x times x times x times x. And this happens a total of m times. Now we want to multiply this by x to the n. So this is going to be x times x times x times x, a bunch times x, and this last bit happens a total of n times. So how many times is x being multiplied by itself? Well there's mx's multiplied by nx's, so what we have here is actually x multiplied by m plus n times. So x is multiplied by itself m times, and x is multiplied by itself n times. That gives us x to the m plus n. So a nice way of remembering this is that if you have the same base with different powers, then you just take the two powers and you add them together. So that gives us x to the m plus n. Okay, now if we have x to the m multiplied to the power of n, well, what do we have here? Well, we have x times x times x dot 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 times x. Okay, so this will be our m times here. Now, when we raise that to the power of n, this is how many times we're multiplying this whole thing by itself. So this is one unit, okay, and using the power of technology, well, we can do this again, <laughs> okay. And we can keep going. So we can multiply that by that, do it a few more times, and that. And this whole thing happens a grand total of n times. So basically, we're multiplying x by itself m times for a certain amount of n times. So what we end up with here is really just x to the m times n. So for example, if I have 3 squared, all squared, this is going to be the same thing as 3 to the 4. So I'm multiplying the powers out. And we can actually prove this numerically. So what is 3 squared? Well, that's 9. So if we square 9, we get 81. Another way of doing 3 to the 4 would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which gives us 9 times 9, which is 81. So both of these methods give us the same result here. So 3 squared squared is the same thing as 9 squared. 3 to the 4 gives us 3 to the 4, which is 81. So these are both equivalent. Okay, so those are the first power rules. So if you have the same base 
and you multiply the base by a different power, you add the powers. If you take a power and raise it to another power, then you multiply the powers out. So adding versus multiplying. Here's another rule that we have. Okay, let's take uh, x times y to the m. Okay, so these are two different numbers. So what we're doing here really is we're taking xy times xy times xy times dot dot dot, and this whole thing is happening a grand total of m times. Now because we're just multiplying all these numbers out, we can actually rearrange these. We can do x times x times x times x. We can do this one m times, and then we can multiply this by y times y times y, and we can do y as well, m times. So these two things are the same, but we've just split up our x's and y's here. So xy to the power of m is really the same thing as x to the power of m times y to the power of m. Another way of thinking about this is taking this power and distributing it inside. So imagine, let's say we have, for example, uh, 3 squared times 2 squared. Okay, so this is the simplified example. This would give us 9 times 4, which is 36. Now let's do the same thing above. So this would be 3 times 2, all squared. Okay, now if we do the inside brackets first, we get 6 squared, which gives us 36. And as you can see, both of these things have the same outcome. So there's a nice numerical example for that. Now the fourth example is division, and this works exactly the same way. So what we could do is we could have x over y times x over y, a bunch of times x over y, so this happens a total of m times, or we could write this as x times x times x, dot 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 on top, divided by y times y times y times dot 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 times y, and each of these on the top and bottom would happen m times. So this is really just equivalent to x to the m over y to the m. And a nice little visual way of thinking about this is just distributing it inside to each one. So another example here. Imagine we have 4 over 2 squared. Well, one way of doing this is thinking, okay, this is the same thing as 2 squared, which gives us 4. Okay, so that's just doing the division first. But we have another way of doing this. Uh, 4 over 2 squared. Let's say we do the method where we distribute the 2 inside. So that would be the same thing as 4 squared over 2 squared. That gives us 16 divided by 4, which gives us 4. And as we can see, our two solutions here are exactly the same. So uh, this is just a visual representation or a numerical representation of that exponent rule. Okay, so let's do some simplification with these rules. The first one. We have a negative 3x squared multiplied by 2x to the 6. So what I want to do is I want to uh, multiply out our coefficients first. So we're going to make this negative 3 times positive 2, multiply x squared, and multiply x to the 6. So these are the four things we're multiplying. So this gives us negative 6 for our coefficient. And then what is x squared times x to the 6. Well, this is x times x for x squared. And then we have x times x times x times x times x uh, times x for x to the 6. So how many times have I multiplied x by itself here? Well, a grand total of 8 times. So we end up with negative 6 times x to the 8. That's a way of simplifying it. So visually, we see the same base x, we see 2 being multiplied, uh, so x squared being multiplied by x to the 6, so we can just add those powers 2 plus 6 to get that 8th power. Okay, this example, uh, y to the 4 times y to the 6 squared. Okay, so what this means is that it's doing y to the 6 times y to the 6, so it's doing it twice. So I'm going to simplify this a little bit first, so we're going to have y to the 4 times Okay, well, it's y6 squared. Uh, so y times y times y times y times y times y, and do that again. So we end up with 12 y's being multiplied by itself. So again, you have a power 
to a power, we multiply these out, so we get 6 times 2, and we get 12. Now here, this is the same as the example above, uh, y times itself 4 times, times y times itself 12 times, so we add these together, 4 plus 12 is 16, so our final result here is going to be y to the 16. That's our simplified version of it. The last one, a little bit more complicated, well that's fine. Okay, 21x squared times y times x to the 4 over 3y cubed. Okay, let's just multiply these all out. In fact, I'm just going to write everything out here because there's not too much. So 21 times x times x times y times x to the 4, so that's x times x times x times x. Okay, that's what the top looks like. The bottom is, okay, 3 times y cubed, so times y times y times y. Okay, first of all, let's see what we can group together and cancel. So first thing I notice is 21 divided by 3, this gives me 7. Uh, how many x's do I have on top? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's. So I get 7x to the 6. Now on the bottom, I have 3 y's, and on the top I have 1. So when I divide one of the y's by one of the y's, they essentially cancel out, and I'm left with 2 y's on the bottom. So this will be 7x to the 6 over y squared, and that's our simplified version. Another way of thinking about this is saying, oh, okay, uh, I have 2x's and 4x's here, so I can add these together to get 2 plus 4. For y on top and y on the bottom, well, this is the same thing as y over y cubed. So y over y times y times y, we just get rid of one of these, so we can reduce that to 1 over y squared. And then we get our end result by putting these together. So, uh, that's it for the practice problems in this video. Hopefully by now you are able to do these questions. So stay tuned for the video coming up, but as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below, and I'll get to you when I can.